as a response to the time and space 2020 and 2021. As we all know, this is not any ordinary two years, this is a phenomenon. This is an online panel discussion on hands. I welcome all of you from wherever you are joining us. This time may be a little inconvenient for some of you, but we are very happy to receive people from different time zones and different spaces. Well, it is depressing on some account. I somehow also see it as related to the notion of solidarity, the notion that binds us together. Solidarity that has taken a different shape at this time, distant and yet quite accessible. My co-curator Ala Yunis and me, we requested nine artists from different regions of the world to make new works and playful works in the context of today's control and suspicion about hands and touch. All the works are interactive and tactile and require the visitor, viewer to touch them, use them and sometimes play with them. The tagline of the project are, touch again, let us play, live with art. We hope the show will work despite of or maybe because of the social distancing phenomenon. Please visit us. We are following all the hygienic protocol. Meanwhile, wherever you are, please stay safe. ممكن <تصفيق> فجاتني فكرة إنه نعمل frequencies As you can see, the layout is like that, that it also supposed to remind us of a cityscape. And in this exhibition, that is why we decided to put it next to another work, which is map of a country. She goes to various countries or cities or even regions and then request people to draw the maps of their country. As you can imagine, those maps are quite similar, but never identical, never same, and sometimes actually quite different, because our memories of what is our land and what is our country, they are not hard memory. They are soft memory. They change. They change shape. They change uh, texture. When I try to imagine some years from the life that I experienced, imagine 1945 as 75 before Corona. It changes the perspective. 1945 is quite an old date, I would say. It's long, it's something like 2000, you know? But 75 before now, without a calculation, gives you some other ideas also. Compare that amount to some amounts that you witness. 
some un unsuccessful attempts for calendars, like the French Revolution. They also had a zero for French Revolution. So there were always attempts. Some were extremely successful and general because of what they base their calendar on, of course, or their zero on. A perspective on this counting, very, like, let's say, minimally, it's just a proposition to accept last year as zero. That's the ruler COVID-19 calendar. It's made of over 20,000 dice with um, over 4 million black dots that illustrate to us a pixelated image of the moon. During the time of the pandemic, when people were not moving or traveling, uh, the artist's imagination that was not limited by these conditions, he could he think and he felt that he could um, travel to the moon with his imagination. And he is reproducing this uh, trip in this work for us in the show. This lune that I played in my atelier. My atelier was here during this period of confinement. Where is Europe? Voilà, Europe is there. La France est là, Paris doit être par ici, et mon atelier est là, ici, là où nous sommes. <rire> On est dans mon atelier, ici, à cet endroit précis de la Terre. Voilà. Ici. There is also a section on Charlotte Posenensky, the German artist who worked on minimalist concept art in the 60s. We would like to acknowledge her practice of making art in multiples to counter the concept of original as a predecessor to our project. She also produced 3D artworks in relation to the human body, large-scale works that get activated only when people physically enter into the works. This is a manifesto uh, written by her in 1968, just a few months before she decided to give up art completely. And she said in that manifesto that in order to make something that is repeatable, objective, and because it is economical, the series can be prototypes for mass production. We thought we should pay a tribute to her as a kind of predecessor to the campaign that we are trying to launch, that is make art accessible, make art therapeutic, and make art interactive. Maxim Giz, who worked with me on the machine, has been studying the mechanism of the cinematograph of the Lumière brothers, which is also a machine from the, the end of the 19th century. We copied the, the mechanism of the Lumière brothers. There was an intermediary, Bever, who already did a plastic printed copy of the 35 millimeter version, and then we changed it to 16 millimeter. Since 2015, I've been focused on anthropometric photography, which is pre-colonial and colonial 19th century images that pre-colonizers took from people in the countries that were about to be colonized. Many, many pictures were taken in the West. People were being shown to the Western public, exhibited in the Jardin d'Acclimatation. These photographs that are very painful and very sensitive and, and really you can't speak of, of them, you cannot use them in, in just any way, especially as a white artist. To handle this material and to translate my sensitivity towards these images into something that you could look at and that would feel right. 
It's about an, a field museum that is imagined on a sloped land in a forest or in a farm inside a forest. This museum has been destroyed and the works now exist also as fragments that are hidden inside this coat or this jacket that Ali has prepared or fitted with parts of the works or the fragments of the remaining or the remaining fragments of the works. There are hideouts, there are pockets, there are hidden linings within uh, artworks hid hidden within the linings of this jacket. Um, and the curator of this failed museum uh, had come to find colorful or had come to find some caterpillars that grew inside or that live inside this jacket that were attracted by the colors of the lost or the uh, destroyed artwork. الرجل التي لم تسلم عليكم ولم أدفع بها كائنات تمشي أمامي لأمر وكأن شيئا حقيقيا حرجا كنت أقصده فقدته حالا اليد التي لم تصحح الأخطاء اللغوية لأناس لم يزل يهمهم النحو والبروليتاريا وعند إشعال النار لا تصرف إلا لتثبيت علبة كبريت I leave it in a state of surrender open on the pillow where someone may lay his head if public transport does not delay him. This sumptuous hand, as if it doesn't belong to me, crippled for reasons it does not understand, now seems appropriately mine. Thank you. Thank you. This is a prologue from the co-curator of the show, Ala Yunis. She initiates a dialogue about history and memory of hands that are long overused and have become fragile. تقاسمنا ثمار الفاكهة والسجائر. حدث هذا بينما توزع الجزائرية لويزا حنون علينا من شورة روتسكيا. ينادي بثورة النساء الدائمة ضد الرأسمالية والإمبريالية معا إحدى المتضامنات كانت تتوقع على عصا امتدت أياد كثيرة لتصعد بها من باب الحافلة امرأة ما كانت خلفها تحمل العصا امرأة أخرى لم يمنعها الكرسي المتحرك من رحلة التضامن table and in all the figures it was me thinking about what we lean on the elbow deep movement under your shoulder blade or something like that so it's not necessarily sort of Russian folk stories but just what we rely on the things that predict things and um, say like people and animals and and you know kind of jests uh, jesters jokers I base things on ideas dreams I think I'm not sure about it. 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 I'm not sure about it
যেটি নিয়ে আমি হাত দিয়েই আমাকে খেলতে হতো সেই হাতের ব্যবহারের কথা স্মরণ রেখেই আমি আবার নতুন করে পুনর্বিবেচনা এবং পুনর্নির্মাণ করার চেষ্টা করলাম ইতিহাসের প্রেক্ষিতে হাতের স্পর্শে রোটেট করে এক ধরনের পাপেট্রির মতো খেলনা হিসেবে ব্যবহার করা যায় ফলে এই যে কলোনিয়াল উপনিবেশিক আমলে একজন সৈনিককে এইভাবে দেখা যায় তার শক্তিকে এইভাবে তিরস্কার করা যায় কিংবা ফান করা যায় সেটি আমার আমি সাথে সাথে রিকানেক্ট করি এবং সেটিকে আবার নতুন করে বিবেচনায় নিয়ে আমি কলোনিয়াল হিস্ট্রিকে আবার নতুন করে পাঠ করতে চাই এবং এই multiples as you know simply means many not single a similar thing and not the same thing can live in many places be in many people's houses these works only come alive when you touch them sometimes play with them